Hello, I wanted to make a little video about head tracking. Head tracking basically means that you have a device strapped to your head so you can move your head to look around in your game. In this case, for example, I look down the track onto the apex that I promptly miss and then back at the track. Most people use uh, Track IR, but Track IR is quite kind of pricey, so I'm going to show you a free and open source version. It's called OpenTrack, and you can get it from github.com slash opentrack. I use a three-point model, but OpenTrack supports many different ways to track your head. The one at the top uh, is very easy. All you need is a webcam and a piece of paper where you print a special pattern on it, and it's going to track this pattern. And apparently it works very well. If you don't want to do that, you can use the face tracker, all you need for that is your face and a webcam. The downside to that is that it uses a lot of CPU time so your FPS might suffer a bit. The one I use is Point Tracker and the advantage to that is that it uses very little CPU time and is very efficient. I had to solder three LEDs uh, onto a few sticks that I attached to my headset and I could go on. If, uh, if you don't want a solder, you can buy ready-to-use one from trackhat.org. If you don't have a webcam, but you have a smartphone, you can use that one. Uh, basically, it uses the accelerometers in your smartphone, so you can turn your head. If you don't want to strap your smartphone to your head, you can buy a small accelerometer from edtracker, edtracker.org.uk. It works the same. The downside to those two is that you can only look around, but you cannot lean in or lean sideways or up and down. But they work very well. In order to avoid excessive strain on your neck and to make sure that you can actually play your game while you look around, it is very important that you set up your mappings. This tells the program how you want to translate your head's movement into movements in the game. So for DCS I have them all just linear, I just look around. But for eye racing, I have it rather stable in the middle and then if I want to quickly look around if somebody's next to me, I have it accelerate at the end. There's many different games that are supported by OpenTrack and Track IR. For example, DCS, Armor 3, uh, I racing and Star Citizen. So try it today. It's free and open source. And if you don't like it, just uninstall it.